Alright you guys, welcome back to week 3 of MS Paint Tutorials. Alright, this week we're going to be creating our own animal using a an assortment of animal parts. And I'll show you exactly what that means in just one moment. Okay, so, like I said earlier, we are going to be making like our own custom animal. And we're going to use four different animals. Okay, and the first one where we're going to start is we're going to start on the body. Okay, so we need an animal with a good body. What do you think? I don't know. Let's see here. A chimpanzee has a pretty good body. Okay, so I'm going to remember, you are going to take our freeform selection, cut out that body, and I got it. Okay, so that needs to be a little bit bigger though, because our animal is going to be kind of a big animal. Yes, perfect, okay. Next part. Okay, next part is, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, okay. This animal is one of my favorite animals, okay? And let's see if you can guess what it is before I put it up there. Three, two, one. You didn't get it right, it's a squirrel. All right, squirrels are kind of cool animals because they're just, they're just cute little guys, I don't know. I like them. You see them a lot. So, it, like, I think that probably plays a big part of why I like them. I don't like rats or mice, by the way. Hate rats and mice. They're gross. Really, really gross. Okay, so I'm going to make this squirrel head bigger. Yes! Look at that. It fits perfectly with the gorilla. Or the chimpanzee. Yep. Okay. Now, let's see. We need arms now. What animal has the best arms? All right. What, okay, like I said, uh, what animal has the best arms? I'm going to give you a couple seconds to think about it. Okay, think. Now, uh, arms, arms, arms. What animal has good arms? Okay, it's kind of a trick question, guys. Because the animal I chose doesn't have arms. It has wings. Okay, and that's a little piece of something right there. That's not something we're going to use. But yeah, a bird. We're going to use bird arms, also known as wings. We're going to cut out one at a time here, going in, making sure we get those feathers perfectly cut out. Don't want the face. There we go. Now this animal is going to be really sweet because it can fly now. Gosh dang it. Okay. There we go. Boom. Okay. Let me get rid of some of this stuff for you. Don't need that part of the bird, just need the wing. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do that 3D effect of making one side bigger to show that it's 3D. All right, so the last part of the animal right here, and some would say, well, actually, we've made it kind of a good, a good balanced animal because it doesn't even need really need legs because it has wings. But we are going to give it uh, legs. So let's think here. What, what animal has really good legs? Okay, let's think. Okay. Um, okay, I know I've got my answer. Uh, let's think. You can have one more second to think while I get this image ready. Okay, it's kind of another true question because you might not think of this as an animal, but it is technically, if you read a biology book, it's a human, not just any human. Mike Ditka of the Chicago Bears and I think Fox Sports now or something, but we're going to use his legs and a couple of reasons. Obviously, he's got cool looking legs, but uh, it's the shorts that really make these legs look especially cool. Whoops, I'm gonna restart. Cutting that out, it got a little squiggly. But yeah, this was a different time, you know, like a guy like this, 
today would probably get maybe laughed at if he wore an outfit like this. Like, this is a head coach and former NFL star. I don't know why that's squiggling so much. My hand is going perfectly straight. My mouse is messed up or something. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. You get the picture. Okay, so we've got an issue. We need to widen those out a little bit. But other than that, we're sitting pretty. It's perfect. Let's see. We want to cover up the bellies a little bit tucked in there. We'll tuck that in. Okay. Looking great. Now I'm going to I'm going to do uh, I'm gonna pause the video here and s I'm gonna skip ahead and do a little of the editing for you so we can get the final shot here. It's going to look really great. Okay. I don't know if you're ready for the big reveal, but I think I am. So let's do this. I'm not, e I'm not even ready for it. I tried to... There we go. <laughs> Boom! There she is. Alright. Sweet. There's the final product. It is... It's real. It's... It's probably not... It's not as cool as I thought it would look, but... It is still pretty cool. And definitely realistic. That's what we're always going for here on MS Paint is realism. So I guess I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um... I guess you could like a like the video if you liked it, and even if you didn't like it, you should like it. Um, I would definitely encourage you to subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with videos like this all the time. So, um, just listen, listen to the tunes and just uh, I'll just uh, kind of stop talking here.